Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 with myself, Matthew Tomato. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you are watching the epic let's play with Bohemia, where the word just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and once we take some more provinces from this uh, war with Lithuania, um, we might actually be very, very big indeed. It might stretch all the way down here. That'll be quite fun. Uh, I would uh, absolutely like that. Um, I'm going to move this army to here. There we go, yeah. Uh, really? You might as well just go over there then. Why well, you can't move? Uh, I guess because the, uh, yeah, we're, we're still sort of, um... Still sieging out this fort here. We did take out a loan, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we might want to pay that back. Um, can I pay it back? I can pay it back. Uh, I won't pay it back just yet, though. We're still spending uh, on rooting out some corruption here. Uh, we've got some overextension as well, which is not helping. Uh, but we're about to... Yeah, we've got a seat pop there. Um, would be interested in having a look at what they'd be willing to piece out for here. So if I did... Something like that would be quite nice, actually. I think that'll be okay. Don't want to go too aggressive. Uh, you're not willing to do that, though. Uh, maybe I'll take some of your money instead. Like that. Not even one revoke. No? Okay. I think that's okay, though. So, five provinces and a bunch of money. Deal. The word gets bigger and bigger. So, this was the army that I pitched up in Moscow. And this is the army that I pitched up in Vilnius. Uh, which is called Vilna, but uh, it is Vilnius. And let's get our cores going here. Just as uh, three cores are about to come in, so uh, not too much of a problem there. Multiple these forts. Uh, I will take away this fort here. Don't think that that's much use. And I will also take the fort that's next to uh, Ria next to Moscow there. I think Moscow is, is just fine as it is as a fort. And possibly Novgorod as well. Let's get rid of that. Don't need these interior forts here. Um, this one here as well is going to go. Uh, yeah, that should be fine, actually. Uh, that's a level 4. I might keep that one, just as a sort of a middle middle land sort of area there. That's probably going to be quite important. Uh, this one will probably go eventually, once I annex some stuff down here, the one in Vilnius. But then it's sort of, again, it's, it's just one middle land fort, which is okay. So I'm not too bothered by that. Um, fort in Schmalen can probably go as well. I don't really need that. Uh, we'll keep the fort in Skarna, though, and, and Holstein, just to sort of restrict the movement across the uh, the Danish uh, Danish lands over there. And we are going to be pushing into Norway, so um, that's going to be another thing. I do realise there's still a pirate ship up there, um, but don't worry. Okay, cool. So, uh, Bohemia is literally the biggest word I've ever seen in EU4. Um, but uh, I, I think it's going to get bigger. So... Right, so, cores, um, lots of rebel factions. Okay, 95% and 95%, okay, because we want to add some provinces to the HRE over here, uh, which is important. Um, okay, good. This is still going very, very well, actually. HRE is still in existence. Uh, we might want to... I don't know whether we... No, we don't need to root out any more corruption. One thing we do need to do, though, is add some provinces to the HRE. So, um, I think it was these three. Yeah, I think it's these three here. Yeah, these are the ones that I can add. Um, yeah, because I've just called them, so that's fine. And we need to uh, do some more conversions, so... Yeah, this is where I wouldn't mind uh, those uh, two extra missionaries. Uh, that would have been very good. But we've got a lot of separatism here. Um, we could go up with some states. Maybe just uh, maybe. What about uh, the Moscow sort of area? Um, yeah, look at the increased income there. Uh, we do have a little bit of trouble with our. Um, Coring here. We might not be able to call these guys. Okay, Saxon is no longer accepted, nor is Prussian. Okay. Really? Okay, well, we might have to do some conversions there, then. Uh, I'm intrigued as to why I didn't actually need to uh, do some coring there. 
Um, I'm not complaining too much, though. Maybe because it was a capital. Yeah, we'll repay the loan. I'm not sure why that was... Um, uh, Karelia. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a state over here as well. It's going to be quite important. Right, so some rebels. And... Hmm, where else could we go? Um, maybe somewhere out here. Kazan, maybe. Yeah. That's a big one, yeah. So a couple of extra states kicking around might be useful. Uh, maybe one somewhere at the back here as well. Maybe Perm. How big is that? Really? Oh, there we go. Okay, it just didn't uh, didn't sort of come into play there. So that will do. Uh, this is a big area of. Uh, can we not make any more? Minsky's not a core. Aha. Right. Skov, maybe. Um, what about down here? Mm, not too profitable that. Lithuania. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. And we do have to pay for the coring costs there. Because we've already got states in the area, I suppose. Uh, but that's okay. That's just going to sort of um, make people a bit happier in terms of... Uh, yeah, because we've got a, a bit of a link of states going on here now as well. So we'll keep that up. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, I'm going to wait for some of this aggressive expansion to die away before I attack anybody else. Certainly Norway is the, uh, the next target here. Um, and we can fabricate another claim against Norway as well, which is great. Uh, so I've got three claims there. So how about we claim for Arland? That'll do. Uh, that's probably going to be enough, actually. I don't think I need to do anything else there. So... We've got a diplomat in Oh, let's go back to Austria a little bit. Um, just improve some relations. And let's go ahead and fabricate some more claims in Lithuania. With a view to taking more land. It's also losing the fight against Georgia, which is another thing. Actually, no. Um, we might instead want to fabricate in Hungary. You know what? Yeah, let's bring in the guy from Austria. And let's get some claims going in Hungary as well. And let's do something like that. Okay, what's your liberty desire? Zero. Good. Okay, you're also contributing to uh, funds and things like that. So... Ooh. We're going to have to take the corruption here. Um, and the reason for that is because uh, we just cannot... Um, right. Uh, we cannot uh, afford to keep losing stability. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Crush some of these guys here. Churov is now considered great. Um, so I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm going to probably merge both of our armies together here. Um, like that. Just to make sure we beat them. Um, bit of a concern if we. Oh no, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we merge the. Um, we merge them together. Okay, excellent. So a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, cores have come into play here. This is, I think this this is a thirty-eight k stack, isn't it? So let's move you back to here. Uh, where else did those rebels just fire? Uh, oh my god. Okay. Um, right. We have some rebel problems here. You could say. Right, move in here. What, what separatists are these? Muscovite separatists? Why? I mean, what the hell? That's literally rubbish. Um, no, we're fine. So, let's move in here then. There's so many of them. What we are going to do though is we're going to add some provinces to the HRE uh, before. So, let's add these guys. Come on, there we go. Just to increase our imperial authority even further. There we go. That'll do. Good. Okay, right. So, uh, how are we going to tackle this? 
What's the best province to attack into? Tver. Okay. In Moscow, yeah, okay. Um, let's do this. How are we doing technology wise? Okay, so we could take the next military idea morale of armies. Well, that's great. Um, so that's just going to mean I've got bigger morale. Uh, but demand a lawful territory, Munster. Really, what did you take? Oh, you took Clare. Okay, uh, so yeah, we need to demand that back. So, demand on lawful territory of Clev. And then pitch our guy back up in Tree Air. There we go, right. So, how's this fight about to go down here? Uh, we caught you up. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to beat that up. Good, okay. Uh, we need to come in down here now. Alright, uh, yeah, Kiev, if you could come across to here and actually help um, tackle uh, some of these uh, de-sieges here, that'll be great. Right, let's keep converting. I think the reason they're, they're rioting is because... Um, probably because the of the religious unity and things like that. I'm going to merge these guys together and consolidate ready for this attack. Uh, I'll wait for their morale to pick up a little bit first though. Which it just has. Um, right, where are you going? You're going into here. I get there first. Riga's just insulted me. Yeah, they're, they're attacking into me, so they're going to get the, uh, the penalty there. Great. Lovely little strategy there. Excellent, eh? Good. Okay, so let's go over there, DCs that one, because once Moscow's DCs, it'll automatically DCs everything around it. So, Riga, huh? You have uh, insulted me. Why'd you do that? No idea. Okay, so we dealt with that, thank God. So, Moscow is just going to automatically, uh, it should, yeah, it's automatically DCing all of these. Great. Cool. Okay, so we've got a few too many cannons in this particular army. Um. So what I might do is move four of them back to uh, Vilna over here. I mean, we need to recreate this entire army. Put you back in Moscow and then mothball Moscow. We need to uh, recreate an entire army here. Um, Ashkis Khan declared independence. Okay. Still got 130, 218,000 troops is the potential though. It's quite something. Yeah, we might want to increase some of our trade power. We don't really have the money to do that right now. Um, <clears throat> at the moment though, I'm thinking I'm quite happy with the army we have. And just... Um, send someone to assist him. Uh, I'm quite happy with the army we have in uh, basically just... Um, this is okay, so we can make some money for a little while, is the, is the thing I'm trying to say here. So we've only got a few rebel factions left. Good. Uh, we need to be fabricating some claims here, though. So, Hungary. Fabricate claim for this one here. Schnollnock, whatever that is. And we'll keep going with our claims there. And Lithuania. Fabricate claim. Chernigov. There we go. Keep fabricating planes. Uh, Diplotech, yes. We need to try and catch back up here. We can also sabotage reputation. Uh, is another thing we could do. Hungary is suddenly very weaker. Is a lot weaker now, though. So we may want to go and attack them at some point. Uh, I will go ahead and create some troops here, though. So... Bum, 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 bum. Just create a nice big army here. And let's go ahead and chuck in some more cannons as well. Like this. 
and maybe a couple of cavalry units just to help pad out uh, what we've already got. Everybody moving to here. There we go, everybody moving to there. Uh, it's just easier to create the army again, it's so much easier. Um, so when can we... it's 10 years isn't it for annexing, so 1684, okay. We'll be able to annex, um, annex Kiev. Okay, here come the two cavalry units. And then we've got a bunch more cannons to throw in, so that's going to be fine. Truce with Cologne has ended, but we are allies and things like that. So, How is the HRE actually doing over here? Yep, okay, not too bad. We might want to consider going and attacking Holland again, uh, and trying to release some more nations over here. Because uh, we have the... Uh, yes, yeah, the only ally with France. Uh, the only problem is France is currently not occupied... Oh no, you are in a war. Nevertria... Oh, France is actually uh, taking land here. Hmm, not very happy about that. Ooh, let's take a stability. Free stability. This is going to be uh, very important. Okay, so we've got our 30k stack here. Uh, it was 38k, but we'll stick at 30k. Um, yeah, so France is taking land here, then I'm not going to be very happy. Uh, because I sort of need, um, need to keep these promises in the HRE. I really do. So yeah, kind of, it's kind of annoying that France is winning that. So, uh, hmm, might not stay friends with France for too much longer. Um, royal marriage and alliance, hmm. Uh, we've been in Ulm for quite a while. Uh, let's go to France, though. Uh, I'm assuming that this is, yeah... Okay, so what did Brunswick take here? You took Anhalt, you jerk! No. No bloody way. Get out of here. Don't be a jerk. Right, so we lost Anhalt, unfortunately, as a... Yeah, so I need to go back to Anhalt then and just be... Um... Oh, uh, yes, you need to be an elector, don't you? Yeah, because we lost an elector. Yeah, because you got taken, so you need to be an elector. Uh, so, grant electorate. Need to sort this out again. Need an alliance and royal marriage as well, so. Uh, from Austria, really. Um, hmm, let's take Amin Power. That'll do. Uh, so, how about we get a royal marriage? And they've offered me an alliance. Great. And we'll also, uh, we'll carry on proclaiming a guarantee here as well. I think that's going to be important. Uh, trade steering, plus 10%. Nice. Um, converted those heretics. There we go. Plain guarantee. And uh, we'll park a diplomat there in a minute. Uh, let's keep going with these conversions, though. And we need to fabricate more claims on Hungary and Lithuania. So, Hungary, fabricate for Zarbulks. Oh, God. <laughs> and fabricate over here for Severia. Severia, whatever that is. Good. And then we'll park our diplomat in Anhold for a little while to improve some relations. Uh, let's call home the guy from Cologne. And switch to France over here. Yeah. It's a bit annoying that you took some land there. Um, saying that you've reduced Trier's nuisance sort of thing there. Um... Munster. Well, to be fair, Munster has taken back what it originally had. Um, so you know what? No. That's what it used to have. That's what Munster actually starts as. So I'm quite happy with that. That's okay. Um, not too bothered. Okay, so we're only losing a little bit of Imperial authority. Um, the more provinces, if we can add more provinces to the HRE, that'd be great. So you know what? I think it's time to declare a war up here. 
uh, on uh, Norway. For that, though, I wouldn't mind having a, an army actually stood around next to Lubeck here. Uh, and that army is going to need a leader. Might be able to roll a better leader out here, though. Hungary started to become westernized. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're still technologies behind, so that's okay. So we might want to pounce on Hungary at some point. Yeah, I'm going to attack Norway. Um, you're behind as well. Uh, Lubeck is the same as me. Okay, but we've got uh, more troops there. Two, two, four, three. Yeah, I might need to roll a better leader here. Um, let's see. Um, two, three, two. Versus what? Three, one, one. Yeah, I'll put the, the new leader in charge here. That'd be better, I think. Uh, a bit more shock in there is quite handy. But I'm going to declare this war here. Um, so let's bring home the guy from... You know, we've got enough claims in uh, Lithuania. Let's bring you home. And we're going to attack Lubeck. And what we're going to do with Lubeck is we're going to try and see if we can't release some nations. Uh, or release Mecklenburg. So, uh, Norway. Um, oh, we're in a regency. Bugger. That's annoying. When is our regency over? We've got two years. Damn it! So annoying. Right. So we just need to wait for this regency to finish here. So we can't declare war. Okay. Uh, let's improve some relations with Kiev, just to make sure that they stay on side uh, for as long as possible here. One of my generals is dead. Um, it's not my plus two guy. Uh, it's another guy that I had. Uh, oh, it was the other one. Okay. How about we roll... 222. Two, two. Okay, good uh, good alternative general to switch to there. So uh, allow these guys some military access. Uh, we actually have. Ooh. Let's take the prestige. Oh no, the missionary strength might be nice. Let's take the missionary strength for a little while. That might be quite good. Um, so we have the um, internal peace in the empire. That's nice. So that's going to improve my imperial authority. And then, well, the more land we can take, the better. Anholt has a disputed succession. You're only 22 though, so yeah. So let's keep keep this up. Uh, left the coalition against France. Cool. Okay, so uh, I think we got about two years before we can annex Kiev. Um, yeah, just over two years, so that's fine. And then our um, regency will be over then as well, so we can declare a war. So the United Kingdom is over here, just quite peaceful. You know, um, they're not really bothered by anything that's going on here. Um, they're pretty much just uh, colonising and being rather quiet. So, Scotland still exists, by the way. Uh, it's this little province over here, the Faroe Islands, is Scotland. So, <laughs> uh, Iceland is also free over there. So, um, hmm. so you've actually uh, fabricated a claim there, really. If Iceland really wanted to, it could expand to here, and then it could actually attack other people over here. So, Iceland could be huge if it wanted to be. So, um, we're just waiting here, though. Uh, we're just waiting for um, uh, for this regency to end. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to create some more ships and uh, increase some uh, trade power over here. Uh, why did that happen? Ooh. I'll take the mercantilism. Uh, I've accidentally clicked twice there, and I wanted to click on that one. There we go. Right. Get a few more ships. Uh, that takes me up to 22 lights, uh, which is fine. Uh, these transport firms tempted to kick them. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of these. Let's save ourselves some money. Uh, we have no interest in any sort of overseas here or anything like that. We can walk around now as well, because we've annexed Muscovy. So uh, we can actually walk around places. Okay, good. Uh, increased papal influence. Um... Hmm, legitimacy, diplo rep, yeah, don't really need any of those. Not that I know of, anyway. Uh, yeah, diplo rep's amazing. Uh, legitimacy's great. Um, what's the other one? Uh, inflation reduction. Uh, let's see. 
Nah, we, we, uh, maybe we could take it, yeah. Let's go ahead and take the uh, inflation reduction here. A little bit of extra inflation reduction. So, just to get us, um, increase our tax income a little bit here. Uh, which is still really good, um, but just, you know, just to make sure that we got good money coming in here. Uh, more claims on Hungary. Um, Bihar. And then we'll get our last one on Mar... Mar Maramaros. <laughs> it's quite good. Uh, okay, so we've improved relations in France, uh, so let's bring him home, and maybe go back to Ulm. Yeah, let's go back to Ulm over here and just sort that out. Right, so military, fort defense, that's fine. Um, we could afford some uh, bigger plus two guys over here. Uh, you know what, what what's, uh, what's the actual price over here of some of these? 807, that's not too bad. Missionary strength, though. I'm going to switch here to a missionary strength guy. Um, just to improve the effectiveness of the missionaries here. Uh, I like this spy network construction guy, so I'm going to keep him. And I guess we can go with a plus two over here. Maybe take the discipline. Let's take the discipline. That'll do. Get a plus two guy over there, just to help with our military here, because it's quite poor anyway. Uh, we need to sort of, because, uh, yeah, technology-wise, we're not doing great here. We're sort of not too far away from perhaps falling behind. So, right, improved relations in Kiev. Uh, nice, we'll keep that going as it is. Uh, so, what? Are, who else? Uh, we got Mainz, Ulm, and Holt, yeah. So, perhaps improve some relations somewhere else. Uh, how about with the UK? Improve relations with the United Kingdom. Because it's the UK. Uh, right, so, um, three, six, okay, this is all my ships that I've created, that's good. Um, really? There we go. Okay, excelente, we have a very good, uh, a very good leader now. Um, a, a very good ruler, I should say. So, that's going to be perfect. Come on, guys. There we go. Right. And we've been called into a war! Just as I was ready to declare a war of my own, we have now been called into a war. Uh, so the French are requesting that we go to war against Spain. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so you're already in a war as well. France, Netherlands, and Dutch Brazil. Yeah, of course we'll take it. But to be honest, I'm not going to contribute all that much down there. Uh, I'm instead going to attack over this way. So let's call home. Yeah, let's call home the guy from the UK. Um, we improve relations a little bit there, but we'll call this uh, call this guy home, and let's declare a war against uh, Norway, which Lubeck would join. Uh, who could we call in? Uh, we don't really need that many people, but um, just just to make use of them. Um, so we'll declare the war. And who are we going to call in here? Let's call in Anhalt. There we go. Call you in. So, actually, let's go and just batter the army there. That's going to be quite important. Uh, the other thing I need, though, is I do need another cannon in here to get the full bonus of um, siege there. And this army needs to move in over here. And let's bring the top guy across here. Just to make sure that we do have some sort of uh, advantage going into this fight. Let's put you there. And do I still have my army kicking around down here? I do. And it's going to be attacked. Let's put a leader in control there. Ooh, you're attacking into the hills. Yeah. I think we're going to lose that battle. Probably going to lose that battle. Uh, in fact, we absolutely... We held them pretty well there. It's a shame, though. Uh, but we did hold them quite well there. So we're retreating back to Prague. That's fine. Um, not too worried about what goes on there. Uh, what I will do, though, is I will park up my lights uh, in here. Because there's quite a few ships down this way. 
So we're going to attack that, good. And we battered the uh, Lubeck army there. So one thing we do need to do here, just to make sure that uh, things go our way, is that uh, we need to sort of move these guys across here. Like this. Uh, we don't actually have enough men anymore. Okay, right. That's a big fort there. Fort level 6. My goodness. Okay. Uh, that's quite brutal, actually, Lubeck. My goodness. Uh, we're fighting you in a bitty, pretty bad area there, but the, the leader was good enough to actually deal with that. Okay, so... Yeah, we're struggling against Ferrara a little bit over there, but uh, it's not too, too much of a problem. Could bring this army up here, actually, to help. Yeah, let's bring this army up here. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, we can move it back later on. So, let's see if we have any... A few rebels here, there, and everywhere, but it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go on for a bit longer here. Um, that's going to be good. Five and holds, nice. Uh, so let's come back into here then. Uh, you need to come into here because I need these bonuses. So Lubeck has got an insane general. Right, won the siege of Arkenhaus. Great. Uh, you move back into here so that, that way you're not risking uh, siege problems. Okay, so you might as well just walk back in over to here and we'll uh, move forward with that. Kiev is sieging over here, that's good. And Anhalt is moving in Kra Anhalt's moving north, so that's fine. But I might as well use this army here. Oh, Ferrara, what are you doing? You're coming across to attack this army. Um, are you kidding me? Like, why are you doing that? That's so, so annoying. Uh, oh no, you're coming into here. Why? Oh, you're landing there. Okay. Yeah, you're coming in to attack this. Uh, you force marched. Really? Uh, looks like we got enough there to actually fight that back, though. Haha! <laughs> Screw you, Ferrara! Right, I do need to merge these armies, though. I've got no choice. Um, the reason being, um, we wouldn't have had enough to siege. So, yeah, we'll keep this going. I do have another army somewhere stood over here, don't I? Yeah, so that's fine. I'm uh, not too bothered by that, but Ferrara, um, yeah, excellent. France has gone and uh, battered that up as well. Good. So I took a hefty hit there, but um, it's okay. Uh, we can get our last claim against Hungary now as well, which is good. And then we can stop building a spy network there. Trier, Mainz, Anhalt, yeah. Let's go to Austria. Through relations. There we go, that'll do. Cool. Uh, lose some papal influence and gain prestige. Uh, we'll take the prestige here. That's fine. Uh, why did I pause that? That was stupid. Yeah, Lubeck's just doing some carpet seeding here. Uh, yeah, this is quite brutal, actually. Uh, very brutal. Interesting that France did declare this. Um, right, you're going in for a D siege. Hmm. Don't know whether to go and actually uh, attack that or not. Might be worth it to go and uh, stomp on that. Right, okay, we're in the positive when it comes to Lubeck Siege now, though. That's good. Uh, so that's helpful. We've got plenty of manpower in the bank as well, which also helps. Won the Siege of Trondelag. Okay, we've got a gift from the Papal State as well. Lovely. Um, yeah, let's go in here then, and we'll attack that. I think we'll be okay attacking that, actually. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble. So, Lubeck's being a pain in the butt. Yeah, this is quite scary down here, actually. 
Won the Siege of Lubeck. Brilliant. Okay, uh, so could I... Minus 64. Okay, cool. Um, can't get you... Yeah, I can get you to release... Not willing to do all three. Not willing to do that either. Maybe something like that then. Release two, uh, two of those. All your money. Well, you're not willing to do that. That's going to be good though. It means uh, I can get them out of the war. Yeah, send demand. Gets Lubeck out of the war. Adds a couple more nations to the mix. Uh, I'm going to split you in half. Um, half of you there. And half of you there. Uh, with a view to trying to move one of my armies back down across here. Uh, but whilst this war is going on, I'm not going to do that. Whilst this fight is still happening. So... Absolutely brilliant war score there. So, Norway then. What could we take from you? Um, so, we got cores on these guys. Uh, uh, not cores. Uh, claims, I should say. So, uh, we can take those. I'll take Agda as well. And... Maybe the, the island nations over there as well. Uh, revoke some cores on some of my land. Be willing to release Finland over there as well, which I could potentially uh, vassalize. Saves me a lot of bother that. Um, on all your alliance, no, you're not willing to do that. Okay. Um, what about money? You're not willing to give me any money either. I do think though that the yeah, let's maybe get rid of the two core revokes and instead give me money. It's more important. Uh, yeah, so releasing of Finland means uh, once I annex Kiev, um, Finland will therefore be available for vassalization. So that should be good. Uh, send demand. There we go. Uh, job done. So this army... Uh, hmm. Where did I put you? I think you were the army that was over here, I believe. So let's move you to there then. Uh, let's get some cores in place on this land. Saying that, I might want to keep an army up here. Um, yeah, uh, I might want to keep an army somewhere up here. So let's grab um, this stack. Let's move you to there. That'll do. That'll be fine. Cool. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll keep an army up there just in case. We've got an army over here. We'll stick an army in, uh, yeah, this Vil Vilnia, whatever it is. Yeah, Vilna. And then this army will move back down here once that, uh, that's actually won. Uh, France is losing quite badly. May want to consider separate piecing out of this war. And, well, France, yeah. If they lose that badly, then I might not be friends with them anymore. Which would be nice, actually. Uh, so, um, Finland will love me and everything like that and you would be willing for vassalization that's great one thing i will do though immediately though is rebuild a spy network in norway with a view to frampins and flames i think i'm going to end this part right here now though and so that's it for now thanks for watching if you like eu4 please feel free to like comment and subscribe but for now that's it and join me next time for more from myself matt the tomato cheers for watching guys